Hello and welcome to Silver Wheel Tarot. Today I want to do a three option spread here. So what I'm going to be doing is shuffling the cards and pulling one from each pile here of cards. And we're going to do an options one, two, and three, and then we'll go through them. So let's start with this deck here. So this is the crystal reading cards. We're gonna pull three options. So it's a general reading, whatever um, option you choose. Let's move this aside for a moment. Okay, well, let's pull one of these first. And we'll pull basically just one from each deck. So we'll see how this goes. I was gonna originally do it by one, what did that say? Words of love, speak with your heart. Beautiful, that's maybe a message for someone. <laughs> Cooperation, take the hand offered or asked. Beautiful, okay. Apparently the cards wanted to get a few extra messages out there. So I was originally going to do this on one theme with options one, two, and three. But I think what's going to happen here is the cards are going to tell us what the um, options are. I guess essentially it's a pick a card. <laughs> I don't really do pick a cards, but this is what I'm guided to do. So this is what we're going to do today. So the green card there is the astral house. It gives more of a theme of like wealth, love, etc. Um, and these red ones here from the tea leaf fortune cards are... Uh, more situational. Okay. And last but not least, but let's get a tarot card for each of these. We have the B Tarot. This is a newer deck to me within the last year, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful deck. Okay, let's go ahead, let's put this on top. <laughs> Feeling the need for organization today for some reason. Organizing and shifting things around, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just give you a minute to meditate on the energies of these stacks to choose a pile. And then we will go ahead and read. This is going to be option number one. This is option number two. And this is option number three. Now, this could be if you're thinking about one specific question, it could be an option for each you know, three separate options for your question, or it could be um, just three random different options to look at, okay? So let's go ahead and move these aside. That was three, that one's two, okay. Let's go ahead and see what we have for option number one, marriage. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. Take the hand offered or asked. That one popped out during the shuffle too, so this could be very important for someone. Okay. And again here, the advice, while there is a... a uh, a hint of risk here, right? With doing something risky, something revolving around marriage, could be any stage of marriage, 
proposal to long-lasting relationships or separations. It can be anything, depending on your situation. But it's interesting that this card popped out once while we were shuffling. Then it came in again, and it says, take the hand offered or asked. And then it also reiterates on this card to take a chance. So there is a risk, but I feel here that whatever the risk is, is warranted. It is advisable to take a risk. Um, risk can be a scary thing, but risk also can have great rewards. Self-love. Okay, this has something to do with taking care of yourself. Having a love for yourself. What is coming to mind is the concept or thought that you cannot have a strong relationship without first being a strong individual. So you need to take care of yourself first if you want to then be able to take care of the ones you love. That's coming through as well. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. I love that here. <clears throat> okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, she is, she's solid, man. She has her stuff together. She knows how to run her house. She knows exactly what she has, what she needs to buy, what they need to store up for the winter. She has all her ducks in a row. Her house is in order. She is solid. She knows what her marriage needs. She knows how to provide what is needed for a strong marriage. She, um, this could also, okay, this just came to me. This could be a marriage to self, a dedication to self doing something that um, that really I'm trying to find the right word solidifies what's coming to mind but I don't feel like that's the best option of words but I can't think of what I'm trying to say here the the bee has wings but the bee is not flying right this queen bee And this vine on the card is gorgeous as well. She's taking a risk. This feminine, grounded, and if you're a male watching, that's totally fine. It is the feminine aspects of receiving, okay? So she not only knows how to provide, but she knows how to receive in for herself as well. There is some risk that or chance that is going to be offered or asked of you it could be asked of you this could be your partner asking something of you as well or someone outside asking something of you that you might feel um, could put a strain on your relationship it could go either way um, or both could be at hand here either way the cards are saying yes go for it. If this is something that is going to bring you security, if this is something that is going to bring you self-love, even if you may have some concerns around how it may affect your relationship, the cards are saying take the risk. It is going to make you stronger. It is going to make you better. It is going to make you more prosperous. It is going to help out your relationship in the long run for the greatest good for everybody involved. And so I feel the cards here are saying in this option to go for it. If you are not involved in a relationship and not looking for one, then it is something to do with the relationship to yourself. It could be uh, something, a choice that maybe puts your, your beliefs in 
question or something that feels risky for you. I've never done that. Is this good for me? That type of thing. It could be um, if it's not related to an actual marriage. Um, you could be working on basically merging the masculine and feminine sides of self. You could be really working on something that it's kind of pushing your boundaries a little, and so it feels risky. Whatever the situation is for you, the cards are definitely saying, yes, go for it. Take the chance. Take the hand that's offered. Take the hand that is asking something of you that you feel is risky. Um, as long as it is something that has to do with you taking care of you, that is then either going to help you grow individually or help a relationship in some way, whether you can see it or not. There is a possibility for a few of you that it could actually be risky towards your relationship, but the cards are still saying go for it. All right, let's see what option number two is. Love. Okay, the first pile was love. This one is, or first pile was marriage. This one is love. Fair woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Okay, this could be maternal love as well coming through with the gray or white hair. Renewal, time to begin again, stronger, better. Something new, um, and it could be a new relationship of love being offered. Love doesn't have to be romantic. There is so much love out there. The kindness and generosity you show to others, that is love. Meeting someone who is going to be possibly a dear friend of yours or who has um, a mothering nature about her that possibly um, really just loves who you are and cares about you and wants to make, see you do well. Okay, so we've got that type of energy going on here. I definitely am not feeling it's a romantic style relationship even with love coming up here i this is really coming through as a fresh start with a new friendship or someone new who could be like family to you it could potentially go into a romantic relationship but i really feel like it's just that that genuine care for others that mothering type feeling coming through here Rites of passage, okay. You could have potentially been through a lot. Your heart could have been hurt at some point, and at some point you are, you may have been blocking others out, but you've been working on yourself, you've been working on growth and developing and healing, and the time has come that you are going through a rites of passage. You have done the work, you've put it in, you've been through something hard, you've done the healing work, and it is time for something new. So whether this is a friendship or a mentor or potentially for some of you, but I'm not feeling like most of you, but some, it could be a, a you know, relationship but it could even be a business relationship but this is somebody coming in that is going to bring this sense of renewal this new life this new love opening your heart up again giving you that feeling of oneness and connectedness and belonging um beautiful energy tower okay so yeah, you've been through a lot, this pile. Option number two. I still feel like you have something new coming in. For some of you, not probably not most of you. 
is an alternate. Instead of this woman being somebody new coming in, it could be the ending of that connection. Again, whether that is platonic, <laughs> you know, a, or a, you know, one-on-one -on -one relationship that's really strong. It could be business. It could be friendship. It could be anything. But what you've been through, you'll know when you get the reading. The basic, the message here is re revolving around love and the rites of passage. And you've been through a lot. We see that with the tower card here. So regardless of the scenario, but it is saying that there is a renewal coming, which comes with a rite of passage. You are... You have reached a point, you have done the healing, you've been through the crap, you are done with that and you have made it through all the hard struggles, no matter how many came your way, you got through it, okay? And so whether that is leaving someone behind to really allow true love into your life or, you know, in any form of love, but I feel for most of you, this tower is more a representation of what you've been through. This is a, you're going through a rite of passage and yes, you have been through it. You're making it through to the other side and to keep hope. Someone new is coming in that you're going to connect with, that you're going to feel at one with, that you're going to have a, a mutual um, standing with in love and compassion towards each other almost like a, a familial, like a family type love, right? That motherly energy coming through again. So regardless of your situation, whether you are leaving someone behind that fits this description, or if you don't, if you haven't had dealings with someone with this description, then it's somebody new coming in for you. Either way, you've got a new beginning starting here in the area of love and you've busted down your barriers you've done the healing this tower here could represent all the things that you the protections you put up around yourself to not let love in and you've torn it down through this rite of passage and so now new new love and care and compassion is coming into your life beautiful all right pick these up Let's do option number three. Wealth. Okay. Fire. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. So, <laughs> right when I pulled this card, I was in my head, I'm like, oh, we are out of the area of love. And the spirit was like, no, don't say that. <laughs> because then I pulled this card and it says passionate love or hate, strong emotion. So let's see where this is going. Still a lot of emotion involved. So all three decks, all, all three stacks have to do with emotion, different types of emotion. Enthusiasm, the best can be here, believe it. We're going with passionate love here, okay? All these messages have been very positive, very um, blessed energy. This one involves a passionate love, a strong emotion with wealth, and it says the best can be here, believe it. I feel like this is more a love of career, right or a creative passion that you're doing that is going to bring you a lot of money doing what you love is going to bring you a lot of money even if it doesn't look like it right at the start you've got to believe it it will happen um let's see emotional healing so again with the emotion and the healing Something may have happened in the past where you pursued a creative endeavor or something that you were passionate about and loved and it didn't work out so well for you. Maybe others took advantage of you. Maybe they um, 
maybe they used your energy and your skill in that area to actually advance themselves in an area and basically pushing you, you know, off to the side or under the rug or under the bus, I guess is the term. Um, someone did you wrong and it, it you had to do a lot of healing. And Spirit is saying here is that you've got to believe, you've got to be enthusiastic, believe it, that it really can happen for you. The things you're passionate about, the things you love, what you like to create, this this can bring you wealth. But you, as part of your healing, it's going to take some patience and some bravery to open up again, to give it another go, to give it another shot, to trust that you're going to have the right people and be at the right place at the right time for things to happen for you this time. Perhaps the things that happened in the past that caused you to shut down and need this healing were things that you needed to go through so that when you got to this point here, this time around, when it really happens, you'll have the strength and the emotional strength to handle everything that's coming your way. The magician. This is you. This is you creating. This is you setting your intention, believing it can happen and making it happen off of your ability to work with what you have on your past experiences, to lean on that, to make better decisions, to really put 100% of who you are into something and know that it's going to happen for you and you will create and manifest it. And if you haven't completed your emotional healing, it will happen in the process of doing it. Beautiful message. All right, I hope that that was helpful. Um, please let me know down in the comments if you have anything you'd like to say or any questions. Until next time, be blessed.